Why consider gender in the analysis of agriculture and rural development? Gender inequality is not solely a matter of human rights. It is also an important issue interconnected with agricultural performance and food security. If women had the same access to inputs as their male counterparts, agricultural production would increase, and the number of hungry people in the world could be significantly reduced. Evidence indicates that families where women enjoy equal status and control over decisions often allocate more income to food, health, children's education, clothing and nutrition, which in turn can have a positive impact on society in general. Article 14 of the Convention on the Elimination of All Forms of Discrimination Towards Women, ratified by 187 countries, focuses on issues of rural women. It urges states to secure women's equal right, to organize self-help groups, participate in all community activities, have access to credit, marketing facilities and technology, as well as equal treatment in land reforms. Countries that are committed to ensuring gender equality are also those which have achieved greater food security and health standards. Yet even though this is widely recognized, discrimination against women is still widespread around the world. Agrarian reforms and laws that favor men's access to land are one example of this discrimination. Women's contributions to rural economic activities are indispensable in all regions. Women often manage complex households and pursue manifold livelihood strategies. They often play multiple productive, reproductive and community roles, such as producing crops, tending animals, processing and preparing food, working as wage labourers, fetching water and fuel, trading and marketing, educating children, caring for the elderly and sick, and maintaining their homes. Women's share of the agricultural labour force in Central Asia is just below the world average at 41%. In Europe, the average is 32%, ranging from 29% in Eastern Europe to 45% in Southern Europe. Despite the significant variations across regions and countries, agriculture still remains one of the major sectors of employment for women. However, many activities performed by women are neither captured by statistics nor defined as economically active employment in national accounts, even though they are essential to the well-being of rural households. Thus, the real share of women in the agricultural labour force may be significantly higher than what is officially reported. Time-use surveys and estimates from various countries tell us that women provide 85 to 90 percent of the time spent on household chores, which often leads to their time poverty. At the same time, women's crop production roles are expanding in some rural areas, in part due to the outmigration of men and youth. For instance, in the Republic of Moldova, the recently conducted agricultural census shows that there is no significant difference between the type of crops grown by female and male agricultural holders. What role do women play in livestock production? Women are also heavily engaged in the livestock sector. Globally, about 66% of poor livestock keepers, 400 million people, are women. They are predominantly involved in managing poultry and dairy animals. Evidence indicates that female-headed households are as successful as male-headed households in profiting from their livestock. However, women in general tend to own smaller numbers of animals, which might be due to labour constraints or to their lack of access to loans. Data from FAO's Rural Income Generating Activities database suggests that livestock holdings of male holders in Albania, Bulgaria and Tajikistan range between 30 to 50% higher than those of female holders. Land is an important productive asset for ensuring food and nutrition security, as well as supporting income generation. Land ownership and control over land means wealth, status and power in rural societies, especially for those engaged in agriculture. Stark gender disparities in land holdings are acknowledged in all regions. Available data show that men make up the majority of total agricultural holders around the world. Moreover, male-headed households in developing countries tend to have two or three times larger land holdings than those of female-headed households. Male household heads or holders in Albania hold, on average, about 20% larger sized lands than their female counterparts, while in Bulgaria this gender disparity is as high as 
In the Republic of Moldova, 64% of the agricultural holders are men, yet 81% of the total area of agricultural holdings belongs to male holders. The results of a recently conducted agricultural census in the Republic of Moldova are in line with global trends in relation to the gender gap in access to technology. For instance, despite the fact that women make up more than one-third of all agricultural holders, they own only 9% of all tractors in the country. What gains could be made from closing the gender gap in access to agricultural assets, services and productive resources? Research suggests that closing these gender gaps in access to resources would help women to achieve better yields on their farms, thus contributing to greater overall food security. It has been suggested that higher production would have additional impacts, including, for example, increased demand by farmers for labour, locally produced goods and services, increased availability of food and reductions in food prices. Higher production could also increase women's employment as well as the incomes of female farmers. Closing the gender gap requires an improved understanding of the roles and relations and the opportunities and constraints of women and men involved in agriculture and rural development. Doing so requires collecting and using meaningful gender indicators and sex disaggregated data to inform policies and programs. A module on gender statistics will provide simple technical guidance on the production and collection of sex disaggregated data via a core set of gender indicators.